NVIDIA and AMD have had an amazing year thanks to the excitement for AI chips. Now with earnings coming around the corner, investors might be curious on how that demand is going. Luckily, we just got some great news from an earnings call and some updates from big data center spenders that can give us some insight. So in today's episode, I want to do the following. First, I want to take a closer look at these recent investments by big data center spenders because this bodes well for AI chip makers. The second thing I want to take a closer look at and more importantly, Supermicro, a company that designs AI servers using NVIDIA's and AMD's AI chips, just reported earnings. So for those that are not familiar, my name is Jose Naharo, and I spent way too much time reading about the semiconductor industry. But thanks to that, my master's in electrical engineering and my experience working at various innovative companies, I have created the number one semiconductor podcast for investors. So let's get started. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, Let's continue with today's episode. All right. So the first thing I want to take a closer look at is Amazon. More importantly, AWS, which is their cloud server provider solution. Uh, and they're obviously the leader in this space right now. So AWS, they did announce on January 25th of 2024 that they plan to invest $10 billion in Mississippi. More importantly, this $10 billion of dollars is going to be used to build two data centers. And for those that follow this uh, channel, we do know that these data centers are what happens house these AI chips. And with the overall advancement and the overall need for AI solutions right now, I do believe we can safely assume that at least some of that money is going to be used to improve AI solutions, therefore increase their AI infrastructure. So that's the first big news that we have from a data center provider. Then we also have two interesting news here. There was one that came out on January 29th of 2024 that Meta expects is expected to build a $800 million AI-focused data center in Indiana. More importantly, it's going to focus things like liquid cooling, which is important for the overall computational needs of AI solutions due to the immense heat and energy these chips need when they're running in full capacity. So a big play there from Meta. Coming in as well, we also did see that Google is to invest roughly $1 billion in new UK data center to meet demand. So uh, there were other ones that I found online, and some of them were below 200 250 million so i was looking more at those that were closer to the billion dollar range and just with quick look we saw three recent ones we saw aws with that 10 billion meta coming in closer to a billion with 800 million and then google with the 1 billion in uk obviously all these bode well because at the end of the day this is gonna some of that money is definitely gonna pour to ai solutions and to semiconductor solutions be it cpu gpus memories whatever types of semiconductor products that go within this AI servers. And we can see right now, uh, NVIDIA had an amazing day. I want to say the main reason NVIDIA has had an amazing day is because we were expecting super micro earnings. And that's what we're going to take a closer look at in a bit. But first, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If not, make sure to hit the thumbs up. I'm trying to hit 40,000 by the end of the year. Let's see if we can do that, guys. I truly, truly appreciate all the support I'm getting. And hopefully I'm providing amazing semiconductor coverage for you guys this is something that i've been doing way before it was cool so hopefully you guys are enjoying and seeing the amount of knowledge that i can bring in this space but now let's kind of jump back into super micro we can see nvidia sitting at 624 dollars this is insane and after hours the stock is up almost one percent amd they do report earnings tomorrow and we are going to take a closer look at that in this channel so stay tuned for tomorrow's episode but amd is sitting at $177 after market the stock is up a very small percent almost half a percentage I do want to say Supermicro is the star of today in the semiconductor space the stock was up 4.5 percent and after hours the stock is up almost 10 percent so for those that are not familiar with Supermicro this is a company that designs AI servers and right now most of the revenue is actually coming from AI server solutions by making servers that use the H100 AMD's upcoming products and various other kind of GPU solutions out there. So if we kind of take a closer look at their CEO takeaways, they do mention continue record demand 
for AI systems at rack scale for NVIDIA's H100, A100, and L40S. So right off the bat, we can see that, hey, look, there's still a nice demand for AI solutions. Obviously, that bodes well for NVIDIA. Obviously, that bodes well for AMD. They also mentioned that they continue development with the Grace Hopper 200 and Grace Hopper Super Chips, enabling first to market position. And they are working on the next gen AI designs for the NVIDIA H200, which is expected to come out in the first half of 2024. And the next generation, the B100, which is expected to come out in the second half of 2024. And more importantly, AMD with the MI300X as well. So we can see Super Micro is saying, hey, look, right now we have huge demand for AI servers, which bodes well for all these semiconductor companies. More importantly, we are also working on next generation platforms, which also bodes well for the future revenue and future sales of those upcoming products. Now, the company also did share some great insight in their press release and their CFO commentary, which we're also going to take a closer look because I do believe investors need to know what's going on right now. So the first thing, the CEO of Supermicro said that while they continue to win new partners, and that's good. So we're getting new partners coming in for their AI solutions, which means more people are using AI chips from NVIDIA and AMD. They mentioned that current end customers continue to demand more. So that's what you want to hear, right? So you're getting new customers, but not only new customers, the current customers that have already been purchasing a bulk load of AI servers and AI chips still want more. And right now with this AI, it's a beast that doesn't have that the belly doesn't get filled at the moment. And that's what you want to see. So we continue to see this demand from uh, for AI solutions. Now we do have here their uh, their kind of conference, their, their prepared remarks, which I do believe shared a lot of great information. And they do see that AI rack scale solutions, especially the deep learning and large language models optimized ones based on, you guessed it, NVIDIA's H100 continue gaining high popularity. And this is insane, right? The H100 where people keep saying, hey, look, that the man can't be there, can't be there, can't be there. They're mentioning that they continue gaining high popularity and that demand for AI infant systems and mainstream compute solutions has also started to grow. So remember, we do see things like deep learning and large language models models and training, but we also have the future of inferencing systems as well and just overall compute solutions that continue to grow for the H100. They're also entering an accelerating demand phase now from many more customers. The CEO then mentioned that overall, he does feel very confident that this AI boom will continue for another many quarters, if not many years. And together with the related inferencing and other computing ecosystem requirements, demand can last for even many decades to come. We may call this the AI revolution. So again, I, I want to say it's never as good as it seems and it's never as bad as it seems. But right now, it seems like it's really, really good. So even if we stretch out right now, it does seem like the AI market is still pretty, pretty amazing, which does bode well for NVIDIA's H100. And we'll see tomorrow if it does bode well for AMD's MI300 demand. Another thing that they mentioned is the OEM appliances and large data center vertical revenues were $2.1 billion this quarter, representing 59% of quarter one's revenue versus 55% last quarter. And that was up 175% year over year. So we are seeing that the large data centers are still investing billions of dollars in this segment and we kind of heard we, we kind of have that evidence from the first part of today's episode but they do mention that two existing cloud server providers and large data center customers represent 26 and 11 percent of total revenue so we can see the huge demand from these big AI players. So overall, I do believe this was great news for AMD investors. More importantly, great news for NVIDIA investors. And some of you might be wondering, hey, Jose, if this was great news for NVIDIA investors, why is the stock up only 1%? Well, right now, the stock has run up a nice amount, right? In the past year, the stock is up over 225. In the past month, it's up nearly 30%. So right now, I do believe these results from Supermicro just give us the okay that, hey, the valuation to some extent is not as crazy as many people think so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and take care have a good day and see you next time